All right, um, it's about noon, and I finally finished with my scans and picture is picture day. I finally finished all my pictures, and it was really crazy. Those scans get so close to you. They were like, like lowering this machine down and it's like this close to your face <laughs> and like I kept getting this visual of it just like crashing down and like like breaking my skull but I, that didn't happen <laughs> so um they I had a meeting with my doctor immediately after my scans were over and there's good news and there's bad news the good news sorry I'm trying to hold this thing on my steering wheel the good news is that it's not in here. It's not in my lymph nodes and my thyroid is like completely gone, I guess. So great job, Dr. Friedis there, my surgeon. Um, the bad news is that it's in my rib. So um, because it's in my rib cage, they need to, uh, and it's like a really small little spot. Like it's just like, it's not like my entire rib cage inflamed. It's just like a tiny little speck. So because of that, they have to give me two radioactive iodine pills instead of one and that means I'm having I'm getting a higher dose of it so there is a, a possibility of it not getting completely wiped out the first time around so I might have to come back and like do this thing all over again but hopefully not um, but even still with it in my rib cage it's completely curable it's very treatable um, it's just and it's, it's common, supposedly, for follicular thyroid cancer to spread to the ribs, so it's not something to be worried or concerned about. Um, it's a little weird to me, just because I know that when I had cancer as a 6 or 15 year old, when I went, met my oncologist that day, um, the first, I remember one thing she said to me was like, oh yeah, like this tumor, because this is like where my first tumor was, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys, but that's where my first tumor was. So... Um, I remember her saying like, oh yeah, if it's, if it's spread, you know, it, we'll just have to cut off your rib. And I was like, what? Like cut it off. Like I need that rib. Like <laughs> that's my rib cage. Um, and I remember that kind of shook me. And so now, you know, eight years later, here I am again. And they're like, oh, it's in your rib. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> like it's weird. It's really weird. But, um, the, he's, they're confident it wasn't, it's not Ewing's and you know, it should be. It should be okay. Uh, it's just a little funky, but I guess I'm a little funky, so it all makes sense that this is happening. Yeah, so, all right, this is embarrassing, but my phone ran out of storage, so I'll have to update you later. Okay, bye! <laughs>